Hey guys, welcome back. Um, to start off another round of projects and doing different bits on electronics and stuff, um, I thought I'd start with this video today. Uh, first off, I wanted to wish, and I know everyone else will want to wish uh, Raymond, uh, our good friend Raymond Earl, a uh, really fast and speedy recovery, my friend. Um, link there, there up there, put it there, there. Yeah, that's really clean editing right there. Um, but today, uh, I did want to uh, wish, uh, wish Raymond well there, um, and also I wanted to make a quick video because a long time ago, my friend treated me to a music player, which is this thing, and it was great for the time because uh, these were pretty new, and I was pretty broke, and I was doing lots of walking and stuff, and I played the shit out of this thing. So it, its buttons were trashed and stuff because I used it over the years and I opened it up and I tried to jack it and I got it I got this thing working off uh, an 18650 cell um, connecting up the positives and negatives and uh, even though an 18650 is 4.2 volt where this thing was for designed for a AAA battery at something like 1.25 volt um, it still worked fine and it just showed full bar charge all the time and it didn't burn out or anything but um, I connected this up I was going to use this uh, just the chip and then use some kind of improvised buttons at the top to make a little music system out of these two and um, you can see in the shopping cart here I've got um, I've took two power banks that had an 18650 cell that was connected up to a, a USB charging port you can see there and um, I took them out of their um, aluminium shells and then I've uh, put the USB ports on either side at the front of the shopping cart so I can fit the 18650 cells in the cart and the idea is these two positive and negative wires coming off this cell on this side were gonna connect up with this uh, which they did and uh, they charged this and run this so then the other cell could run this little amplifier here so you know the music player and the amp could work uh, together from the shopping trawler um, but when I connected I, I connected all the wiring up and it worked lovely and then I took that and then put it on here uh, you know where the, that goes there and just sat it there and then when I cable tied it into position something on this board broke on me oh staticky um, and I think it was that thing whatever that little component is at the top I think I might have just pulled it too tightly with um, uh, the cable tie and it snapped that component. So unfortunately, rip little uh, board, uh, you did me so well and I respect that. Uh, that was USB and I think it was a one gig um, storage it had on it, uh, built in storage. And unfortunately that died and in place, I looked online and found this thing. I'll leave a link below in case you guys are interested. Uh, it's got a little SD card at the top there. Um, it's took a 32 gig et micro SD card, this thing, and it works really nicely. Um, I'm amazed. Um, I've got a AAA battery in for the 1.25 volts at the minute, and uh, I'm going to strip this thing down now, see if we can jack the positive and negative port where the battery goes in, so I can hook it up to these wires going into a cell, and then see if we can get this music system uh, in place. And my mission with this music system is to get a robust little shopping trolley with all the components in I might need while out on the travels for a music system to run with the amplifier and um, so make it quite robust so if it's being beat around things aren't flying off it and it's not breaking every 10 seconds um, so next job is going to be to heat the soldering iron up and um, see if we can jack this board and uh, you might want to forgive my continuity errors because it's probably going to go dark any second now so as feared guys, I'm afraid I didn't get there before it went dark, but I have uh, just uh, rigged this bit up. While I was upstairs looking for something or other, I found this display device, and I was going to slot it down underneath into there, underneath here. Might have to chop the wire down, I'm not sure yet. And um, 
that dis that display which is voltage display is running up behind now the mp3 payer which i've soldered up to those two wires which are running to this power bank on the left there and um i've put a little switch underneath and that way when i'm charging the um the cells i can turn the switch off so it's not gonna push uh, the extra current through the music play there and um, when i'm running the cells i can turn that on and it will run the little power supply uh, little voltage meter there as well as um turn on the power supply so let's see if we can bend that up a bit sorry guys that's a bit bendy the wires there so if i turn the button on you can see the voltage comes up you can see the music players coming on come on Three point six nine, and that way, when I'm not using the music player, I can turn them both off, and that's also the state of charge. And then, when it's charged up and it's not plugged in and it's just doing outputs, also while these two are on, I can then use, say, the right one, which I was you're going to use to power the amp, and you could use the left one to charge a phone or some random USB type device. Um, so I will now take this and see if we can cable tie it all in place and uh, we'll see how it comes out. And there she is guys, all in one blocky like form. It's pretty um, robusty, stable there. Um, I've tied on the music player with some solder that I've entwined around the back here. So if I want to take the MP3 player off to use uh, a USB wire onto it and then use this MP3 player as a micro SD card holder to connect to the PC, I can do that. And um, I, instead of adding a lot more cable ties, I just added one around here and then uh, hot glued this to the cable tie. And that's pretty solid now. And I've just done some more hot gluing on the USB ports. And uh, I think it's time to test her out and check her to see if she works. So let's just see. I'm not uh, decided on the wiring length yet. I've got some nice little um earphones that are extra base ones and that can slot nicely in there and they can stay in the shopping trailer so i can always swap out and uh it's a bit fiddly guys but Who's And the music play, guys. Using the sound volume on there. And meanwhile, there's still one output port there to uh, charge your phone. And um, you can watch the voltage, and that's good to at least like one volt. So that's. <laughs> It's got plenty of um, charging to run the 32 gigs worth of MP3s and uh, I don't think this takes much and also with one more wire you could run an out wire from that USB port into the in port on that which then would redirect power to charge that and that would then feed that as well so 
all together um, it looks a nice cool little music system so um, thanks guys for checking in on me and uh, seeing out this cool little build uh, thanks Dan my friend for um, initially setting me off on this road all them many years ago and um, here is its evolved scale trolley state after all these years so uh, thanks again guys look after yourselves and uh, I'll catch you up soon